Well, hello. And before I forget, thank you, Bob, for letting me borrow your channel. So, let's see. What have we got here? I've got all these papers and all these notes about this. This is really complex. So let's let's, let's see what we can do here. Okay. So the magic word is equality. Equality. Wow. As often as I hear it, it never implies equality of president, Congress, politicians, law enforcement agency, and citizenry. God, I mean, what else is equality supposed to mean? Ever notice the president, the diplomats, the politicians, the law enforcement agencies? are always exempt from legal consequence. I mean, and they're the ones that made and are enforcing the laws. Supposedly, we have voted for them to do this. What? Just a minute, just a minute, just a minute. Something's wrong here. Because they need special favor to successfully perform their duties? Huh? They need to be able to cheat, and they need to be able to lie, they need to be able to steal, beg, borrow, and kill to properly perform their duties. And yet, if we were to do that, me, I'd be thrown in jail for a thousand years, if not executed. I can't, you know, declare, well, I'm an immunity, uh -huh, because I'm a diplomat, uh -huh, uh -huh. I'm the agency, and I'm supposed to be able to do all these things, because how can I do my job uh, if I, uh, if I don't have, you know, immunity, huh, what? Just a minute, just a, a freaking minute. <laughs> I mean, if you can't be honest, you expect your citizens to be honest. Truthful. Etc. In order to maintain and perpetuate and sustain your lifestyle. That's what you want to talk about. You want us to go through all the trouble to be good, proper citizens and whatever. And worry about consequences of law and legalities and bullshit and shit. Just so you, because we probably really can't, or we have troubles to, you can make money off of it and sustain and support yourselves. Is that what it's all about? So where does lying and cheating, etc., and blah, 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 stop so that honesty and truth can actually start? See my eyeballs? <laughs> Could there be a country that is honest and truthful and expecting its citizens to be the same, actually enforcing itself to be so because its laws are all inclusively acknowledged and acted upon? Could there be such a country on this planet now in this uh, version of planetary existence in this version of this multiple universe <laughs> whatever you know version point one earth the power of truth enacted from one person throughout all citizens and politicians and law enforcement and government and cumulated as effect upon other nations? Could we have the integrity, the strength, the desire to do something like that? 
Well, not really. Microsoft will be out of business real fast, and Visa and MasterCard, because they depend upon, you know, subterfuge and lying and cheating and everything else to, uh, you know, get everybody else enslaved into our capitalist economic system, et cetera, and so forth, and to, uh, you know, have to be like, oh, God, no, I gotta pay, you know, bills and blah, 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 blah. But, you know, I mean, could like, you know, like, be honest, you know, just, just legal shit, just, just, just equality shit. Could we just do equality? If we could do that, well, maybe, maybe the economic shit will follow suit. But let's start somewhere. Let's let's start with, with, with um, you know. Okay, there can be no equality in America. And here's the election year, and they're all talking about equality. There's no equality. Then that's bullshit. This fucking lie. That's bullshit. Obama is a liar. They're all liars. <laughs> they're all they're over there. He comes in here into Seattle. He goes to the Paramount. He charges a thousand dollars or whatever he charges a billion dollars per plate for dinner for you know the people that can afford it. We standing on the street can't afford it. We're out there being whipped to cheer and yell for him. <laughs> Bunch of morons that we are like, oh god, he's gonna do something really good. No, he ain't gonna do any good. He ain't gonna do any good. At all. He's gonna use the filming of you guys jumping him down like a bunch of fucking monkeys, you know, for his political thing. But uh, you know what? <laughs> he lives for himself. All government people live for themselves. The government, a person. Okay, there's human beings and there's governments, and governments require law agencies to uh, enforce their governmentsy. Okay, the the and the law enforcement law enforcement agency are the intermediary between them and and us. Okay, that's why cops look really close, really closely. They kind of look like us. They almost kind of act like us. They they know how to talk and sympathize to us like as if they were us. They're not really us because they're bought and paid for by those guys over there. Okay. Politicians, on the other hand, they grow up and they may have started in their lives as, you know, in, as children as us, but uh, at some point they, they cross the threshold. When they cross the threshold, they sort of crunch. It's like, you ever heard of Faustus? Or Faust, or whatever his name is, you know, he did a deal with the devil, signed a signature, said, Yes, I will sell my soul, you give me whatever I want. It's kind of kind of that. That's that's what it is. They cross over, they sign their souls, they're they and they become that. Now they all start off thinking, I'm gonna go over there, I'm gonna be a good government person, I'm gonna change things, I'm gonna be political, I'm gonna do things for the people because this is in my heart and I'm gonna do these things. You know, who knows what it was that he got butt fucked, you know, when he was a kid, so now he feels really bad and he has to do something about it, compensate. That's where they all start. Just like cop kids becoming cops. But at any rate, at any rate, so uh, that's prejudice, I'm sorry. Kind of. A little bit, maybe, kind of. But at any rate, so anyway, so, you know, they go over there, and he crosses the threshold, and his soul is sold. There's no turning back. No turning back. For none of them, none of them. They get real close, make, make, make it look really good, but, you know, they're all liars. You know, they're, they're there. They're no longer human. They, like, I don't know if they, I don't know if they change skin. They look the same. I don't want to say change, but they are no longer humans. Politicians are not humans. Governments are not humans. They're like this this thing that lives over there, and once it because it's there, it has to of course sustain itself. So it draws people into it. People become encouraged to go through the ranks of whatever they go through all these all history is is the story of people you know they're serfs they blah blah blah, blah they suffer blah, they feed their lives and they feed the government you know blah 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 and all these various different ways and shit and the governments you know do all these things either they're real strict you know beat people over the head and have a high overhead because they have to pay for ammunition to keep beating people over the head or they have something like america where you know hey, look you guys get to vote <laughs> 
every four years. And that makes a big difference. And we have, you know, in our Constitution, equality and stuff. And as long as you guys, as long as you guys keep pretending like it's really there, and you keep voting every four years, it's really nice. And look, here we'll give you all these free computers and technology and shit. And you guys need to just be addicted and drugged to it for eternity. You don't have to care whether anything makes any difference or not. And that's pretty much the way we are. And, uh, but it goes on and on and on. It's the same thing. It's like they have, therefore, they have, therefore, low overhead. They don't have to pay for guns to beat us over the heads and shoot us like Nazis or anything like that. Low overhead. We're all, you know, naturally drugged, comfortably numb. We say, okay, oh, I'm really pissed off. Oh, man. Oh, damn it. Oh, I'm so pissed off. Let's see, what's on this station? Click, 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 click. Oh. Oh. I'm so pissed off. What's on this station? Click, 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 click. But that's Americans. But anyway, at any rate, so anyway, that's, that's wonderful. But, <laughs> the bottom line being that, they persist and still be. Okay? So, what do you do about them? I don't know what you do about them. I mean, um, they've been wanting to colonize Mars, be, uh, spend all of our money colonizing Mars. That's fine. They should all go there. <laughs> be the colonizers and leave us alone. Leave us humans alone. Let all the politicians and the law enforcement agencies and all of them go to Mars. That's fine. That'd be wonderful. I, no problem with that. I'm not going to get into that. I'm not going to say, don't go to Mars. I want to say, you know, go. But, uh, at any rate, so, but, you know, in leave that, what do we do with them? Well, I don't know. Um, we could be real violent, but what would be the point of that? That's just acting like them. Anyway, so, just be honest, you know, it's like, well, we will continue to be honest. Maybe at some point they will be honest, too. I don't think so. But, you know, maybe we can, like, uh convince their children maybe we go to the washington athletic club and uh and bribe their uh fat ass teacher this black lady now i'm not gonna get it you know not, not a prejudice thing no 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 don't no 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 don't let's not go into it like it's an inequality no it's not inequality she's you know she's equal that's what the washington athletic club says she's equal so you know i'm like yeah all right but i've seen their i've seen what those kids are raised up in she crams them so so full of food every day <laughs> munchies and crunchies and crackers and whatever and then and then she tells them go ahead kids eat and dump it all over the floor we have janitors and slaves to pick up after you it's like you know it's a confederacy all over. oh this is a personal i'm sorry folks this is a personal issue oh yeah the washington athletic club you know it's like the last stronghold of the confederacy of the Amer of america but you know i'm really not going to bring that one up so anyway so let's just go on with this let's see uh you know it's real simple you know it's like equality it's about equality it's like Everybody, if somebody makes a law, if they make a law, that means that law is the same. Interpreted for the president, it's interpreted for the policeman, it's interpreted for governors and politicians, diplom uh, diplomats, you know, across the world. Across the world. We don't have to be sneaky with all them assholes over there. They're sneaky enough. Let's be honest. Let's 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 do something. Let's be honest. Let's our president be honest. Let's our law enforcement agency be honest. Let's just you know. Let's just be honest. Yeah, maybe it will set us back a little bit for several decades until they get on with the fact that yeah, but they keep screwing themselves over because they're dishonest. Is this what happens? Isn't that what happens to us? When we're dishonest, we get in trouble. We screw ourselves over. We have to keep paying back for this and, and holding back and, and not getting where we're going because we're too busy compensating for having been dishonest in the first place. So, that's what the consequence should be for these people. If the CIA is dishonest, if the FBI is dishonest, if president blah 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 whomever they may be is dishonest 
if the politicians running, if the if our you know senators and congressmen, if they're honest, consequence. It's the same as you and me. If we have to go to jail for it, they have to go to jail for it. No questions asked. It's not like, well, I can't go to jail because I'm a diplomat and I have this immunity thing. Please, man, I, I, you know, I beat the shit out of the guy. Yeah, clubbed him, and then I shot him in the head. But I'm a cop, therefore I have special. No, 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 no. It doesn't work like that. It's like, Jesus Christ, man, you did something really nasty. You need to go to jail. For a thousand years, your family has to be disrupted or ruined because of that, and you have to be set in debt for the rest of the next 35 generations of your family because of what you did. Consequence. My consequence is your consequence. Equality. It's real simple. Equality. Thank you.